Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Medieval Dynasty, shall we? Continuing our Complete Beginner's Guide. And, well, we do have this quest here to um, get this scythe. So, I guess we can go easily pick up a scythe, and if I look at the map, and I switch it over to quests, de -de -de -de, it's right across the river here. So let's go do this. In order to get our building size up so that we can make more than five, we're going to need to complete um, more story quests. And that's just all there is to it. I'm going to drink some water because it's right up to my chin. Delicious. Hopefully there's no sharks in this river. But it looks okay. And I really start strolling straight ahead. This is an impressive way to get to Borrow War. The, the, a lot of people probably use that route. Just right through the water. Borrow Woe. I'd like to borrow Woe um, all of your money. And I won't be return o woe it. If you know what I mean. Okay. Are you the lady? Inga? No, 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 no. I need... Ida. Ida. I'd like to get the scythe back. Hello, I'm Ida. No, you're Ida. Do I know you? Um, I mean, not yet. I'm here for Unigo's scythe. It's, it's a bit of a forward request. Take a hike, kid. I want it fair and square. One? Ha! That little snake didn't even tell you about that, huh? That figures. I don't know what you mean. He only wanted me to get his side back. It's mine now. Okay, okay, relax. What can I do to get your side then? You can buy it from me, of course, or we could play for it. What's the game? The same that made Unigos lose all his money in a side. The game of riddles. How is it played? I tell you three riddles. You answer all of them correctly. One mistake and it's over. You win, you get the side. And if I lose... I'll go easy on you this time. If you lose, you don't owe me anything. You just forfeit the chance for getting it for free. All right. Hit me with the riddles. First, what disappears the second you say its name? All right. That would be silence. Correct. Ready for the next one? Look at that. 60 reputation for getting the riddle right. Feed me and I live. Yet give me a drink and I die. What am I? Hmm. A fire. Oh, you're good. Better than Mr. Big Castilian already. But can you get this final one? Listen carefully. I can fly, but have no wings. I can cry, but have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. What am I? Okay. So a cloud seems right. Damn, you're sharp. Congratulations. You win an old man's crappy side. It doesn't get better than that. I mean, the sense of humor in the writing in this game is just on point. It's so funny. By the way, I did this already on my Let's Play, so I kind of remembered the answers, but they're just traditional riddles. Thank you for the fun game. Take care. I got 120 rep. And I get the opportunity to deliver a scythe. to our good buddy, the big Castilian himself. All right. Man, I wonder if I could just pick up these fish. Probably need that fishing spear, harpoon. All right, I'm coming. If there's anybody on watch in the town, they're going to say, I'm looking, and I see an army approaching on foot. Across the river, it's one madman in a straw hat. On the catapult. Look at those ducks. Beautiful. Just drifting off. Alright, we made it. You're darn right we did, Uni Ghost. I'm here to keep your size. I mean, 
deliver it. He's right up here. I found him. I got your scythe, buddy. Splendid. Were there any troubles? Um, you tell me. Were there? I might have left a teeny tiny detail at, out. You don't say. How'd you manage to get my scythe with my wits? In that case, you're brighter than me. You know it. Was there ever any doubt? Don't be cocky, kid. Anyway, I have news. Sambor is looking for me. For me, are you sure? I've been told he asked about the one with funny eyes and stupid face. All right, I see. I won't prolong this humiliation. I'll go find him. Okay. So we've got to see Sambor, which is not ideal. But we're completing these story quests. And we'll get there. Indeed, we will. So we need to talk to Sambor. We can also complete this chapter quest. That might be the ticket of what gets us more building space. I mean, we're basically one day away from it. And you can see it's getting kind of late. Actually, if I go to the map, you can just see it's, it's about 2 p.m. So I could run all the way to Sambor, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I'd be out there at night, and that place is dodgy so let's instead just go back home and sleep and it's either one day or two days to the next season and then all sorts of fun stuff will happen I may have made that part up but things will happen let me check here we go all right, anything on the road for us? I'll take it. Stone, I grab it. Ooh, that put me over the um, the limit. That's embarrassing. Can I craft anything? Uh, I like to make a torch. Nothing wrong with a torch. All right, I'm carrying too much, but but just by a little bit, so it's all right. We could check our rabbit trap. And we can cook a whole bunch of meat. Great way to end this season. Actually, you know what? Oh, I forgot to uh, arm it when I cleaned it out last time. You know what we're going to need to do is make sure that our dude has stuff. Yeah, he has two stone knives. So he's sort of got his act together, but not really. I'm going to take all this meat. It's going to be really heavy. Now this guy needs knives. Oh, I can't even move. All right. What do I want to give you? I'll give you something real nice, buddy. And by real nice, I mean... I don't know. I'll just give you this terrible torch... Can I move now? Not yet. All right. What am I carrying that's so darn heavy? Mm, buckets, maybe cheese. All right, fine. Let me just... Oh, I have like 39 sticks. That's a lot. Let me put those in here and I bet I can... No, I still can't move. The meat is that heavy. All right. Well, we're going to have to... Uh, yeah, the meat is like 19 pounds. That's a lot of meat. All right, let me get rid of some other stuff then. Oh, these seedlings. Yeah, we can get rid of that. The stone, sure. I'll come back to pick it up, but... I'll split this. Fine. What a good problem to have, though. Now I can move. I'm just a little bit slower. All right. So let me give this guy a little bit more nutrition. He'll be thrilled. We're going to open this up. 
He actually has no firewood, so we got to get him that. Let's give him some apples. Just, you know, help the guy out. We can give him um, a bucket of water as well. And just make sure that he's completely taken care of. I'd like to craft a bucket of water. All right, let me just give this to the dude. We'll get him some firewood as well, but let's cook the meat first. There you go. Yep, you can see. Well, we're going to need to do the firewood sooner than I thought. He's already out. Now, you can change his job. Like, if you say to yourself, I'd rather have somebody, you know, chopping down trees and making firewood, you could switch him up, but I don't think so. I think food is more of an important thing. We'll get somebody on firewood soon enough. It nearly killed me. I think we all saw that. All right. Craft all the firewood you can. You're beautiful. All right. This is a slow walk for us because we're carrying way too much. These things happen. All right. We're going to go over here and give you all the firewood you need. Bam. Eight, in fact. All right. That should really get you off my back for a bit. Light the fire, and we're going to craft. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we can make, um, I mean, theoretically, we could learn the recipes. You know, we actually could. Like, if we went to technology and went on over to kitchen, like, we could buy porridge if we wanted. And any of this, like, do we have, okay, so cabbage, meat, and a bowl, we could make potage, meat and carrots, meat and beetroot, meat and onions, meat and mushrooms, scrambled eggs, and quark. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I'll learn this. Maybe I can buy cabbage or grow it or something. That's kind of fun. Do we need anything else like a chest or a flower pot? Not really. Yeah, let's learn how to make a bow, arrows, a bird trap would be good, and a wooden campfire. Let's just buy all that. Why not? And, okay, good enough. Now let's go down here at the campfire, and we're going to craft up, oh, roasted fish meat. We could do that as well. I'm going to craft all of it. Now you might say, this is insane. What are you doing? I understand that. What we're doing is getting a ton of experience and making food that people will celebrate all across the land. All right, so while we're here, this gives us the opportunity to just look around our shack 
and think about what's our game plan. Our game plan is to try to probably complete Survivalist first, Chapter 2 quest, and see if that will let us recruit more people for our village and expand it by getting new buildings. But the buildings that are on our short list are a food supply, a material supply, and getting somebody here to be a lumberjack, maybe gather sticks for us. Um, we can also get someone to cook if we build a, a kitchen and get the right stuff, but that's going to take a lot of ingredients and growing plants and all of that. Look at this. It's amazing what we can do. I'm actually going to just cook 40 of this. Because I need to get, I need to do some stuff. I need to check out what time it is. Alright. So we just cooked ourselves a metric ton. I'm going to put the fish meat in there. I'm going to put all these cheeses in there. I'll put a bunch of apples in these fur boots I'm going to put in this chest um, the mead we can sell we do have some oat grain and we actually have some onions so I could buy the recipe to make but I need bowls and I'd like to be able to I have one wooden bowl but I'd like to be able to make them I need to fill up my water skin I think you can't fill it up until um, it is empty however I'm going to put all this uncooked meat in here, and I've got different stacks. You can see that the condition of this is going down, meaning it's, like, rotting. Um, so let me eat the stuff that's going bad before it is ruined. All right, so this roasted meat is getting gamey. Now, it doesn't decrease its quality. Okay, so, you know, there's that. But definitely want to make sure that uh, you eat up the bad stuff. So the meat goes bad, but not super fast. I'm going to put all that in there. Put that in there. Right, I'm going to put Rasimir's old shoes away. We don't need it. Okay, so now we could make a bow, theoretically. Um, but what we want to make at the moment is... Uh, actually, I don't think we can make a bow handcraft. I think we need the proper station to make it. Anyway, let me make a stone knife. So I just need some stones for that. So let's take a peek. And we see stones right here. Berries. Hey, nothing right wrong with uh, unripe berries who doesn't want unripe berries all right pick up the stone the stone that stone all the stones oh there's a ton of stones this is great all right so this will let us craft a bunch of uh knives for our dude now I guess only two, but still. This will keep him hunting for a long time. There you go. Okay. Now let me put these tools that we just made in there for him. Alright, so now he's got... Three stone knives. Looks like he used another one out hunting. So this guy needs a lot of knives. What's it going to take for me to craft more knives? Sticks, actually. Well, sticks are easy enough to locate. Actually, I put like a bajillion sticks in here. So let's just get these out. Give me the sticks. Oh, there's a stone in there, too. Take it. And then we're just going to, don't mind us, we'll craft these while we're in here. Get a boost of experience. All 
and drop these off. I still have my knife, so I should be fine. All right, terrific. Now, what time is it now? It is 624. That's no problem. Not a, not one bit of a problem. All right. So to make good stuff, really what we would need. Oh, did we already catch something? How about that? We, we need to uh, create a workshop, but we can't build any more buildings. And we can make some really good stuff there. So that's definitely one of the buildings that we should put on our short list. I'm just going to chop down trees while we pass some time. Bunch of logs here. And... Operation Don't Kill Me. It didn't. And timber. We're somewhat safe. There it goes. Log. 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 We're having a hard time moving. I'm going to put these logs in this box right here so that we can turn these into whatever we like, basically. Let me get my shovel out. And dig these up. Fantastic work. We've done it. All right. Okay, so now we have a bunch of logs to come drop off over here. And we will. All right, and then we can go here and we can like, um, oh, well, that's interesting. I thought that we'd be able to make, like I put them in this chest right here. I thought we'd be able to just draw from that. That is too bad. Okay, well, you can't. Hey, you know what's wild is, like, you see how it filled up the storage pile right there with, like, it animated it with logs? Maybe only your villagers can use it if you put it in there like that, but you can't for some reason. Interesting. All right, I'm going to craft, um, you know, five cords of firewood. Okay. And we'll do planks. We need all this stuff. Just make a bunch of planks and make a bunch of firewood. And by the time we're done, it'll be nighttime, time to rest. If this ends the season, good. If it doesn't, we can run over to Sambor. Okay. And we can barely move, so let me put this... Um, I don't want to craft. Yeah, I want to open the chest. All right, great. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to put all the firewood in there. And also the uh, planks. And now I'm good. And that guy's just standing there. Hi. I'm so glad that you're here. All right, we're going to sleep next day. And no, it did not end the season. We actually have even more time. So this is why 10 days is fantastic. All right, I'm going to go into my... Um, inventory and I'm going to go to food 
And I will drink the last of this water skin. And then I should be able to go to um, crafting and, yep, fill the water skin. All right. And let me see my food situation. Let me eat roasted meat. Roasted meat. Roasted meat. That's a lot of roasted meat. I'll take some more with me. I'm going to put this poison away. I don't see why I would need that at the moment. I like how it goes in the food section. Not enough space in destination. Wow, it's full. Imagine that. All right. Give me some cooked meat. It's going bad, my roasted meat, so I'll take out, you know, that. All right. Well, I do. that's why you build more chests, I guess. All right. So we're going to run this way and go talk to Sambor. Always good to save it before you potentially get into a frisky situation. All right. We're full up. So I think by spending all 10 days on doing quests, by gathering, fighting bandits, we've just really, really put ourselves into a solid position where we've got a good amount of supplies and foundation to move ahead. And we're actually like running out of things to do. If you play on three days, you can do it. It's fine. It's just very brutal. Um, let me look at the map. Yeah, we want to go up north. How fast that time will pass. And you'll be like, you know, well, I got a lot of stuff to do and I missed it because the season ran out or, you know, I don't feel prepared yet. It depends on what kind of pace you like for the game. All right. Now, at this point, we'll look at the map, and this is the road that we want here. Look at that ridge suspicious I'm going to go up it just you know to say that I did and see if there's anything on the other side of it that's worth noticing I don't spy anything immediately the draw distance can be you know things can pop in pretty suddenly but I'm just always on the lookout for an overturned wagon AKA treasure chest for me. Okay, let's look at the map. No problem. We have a little bit of ways to go. But we could do this easily. All right. Now, Sambor is over here. So I'm going to quick save it. And we can try to just cut right through. Save a little time. I hear something nasty over there. As long as it doesn't follow us, we will be okay. Sambor will fight for us. He won't, by the way. I think we're clean. All right, Sammy, we're here. What took you so long? Hello, I heard you were looking for me. You need to kill it. What are you talking about? That blasted owl, of course. Can't you hear it? Sure, it's called wildlife. You practically live in the forest. How is that new to you? Don't try to make an old fool out of me now, boy. This is insane. The owl is making me insane. 
Try to calm down and describe the problem to me if you want my help. I can't sleep because of that damn bird. It hoots and hoots. I want it dead. Why can't you deal with it yourself? I, I don't hunt anymore. Are you serious? You literally live in a hunter's lodge. I did build this place. The hunter died a while ago and I just took it. I like it. At least I did before this bloody owl showed up. If you don't mind me asking, I do mind. Do you buy your meat now? I don't see you keeping any animals. Listen to me, you little brat. I don't have to explain myself to you. Not now and not ever, but if it'll make you shut up, no, I don't buy any meat. Lately, I tend to eat mostly vegetables and grains. That's exactly what my food eats. hey -o. Damn, you're so annoying. During my life, I did some things. Bad things. Things that shouldn't be done, not by me or anyone. It changed when I met your uncle. He helped me atone, at least in some way. So when I, our ways parted, I made a promise to myself. No more violence, no more blood on my hands. But if you keep getting on my nerves, I may just revoke my promise. Do you want that? Excuse me, dear sir. I have to hunt now. All right. So we need to find an owl. Okay. And let's look at the map. And you can see it's within this area. Um, oops. You go back to quest. And then let's zoom in. So you have this like yellow area of influence to look at. And let's look around. Now you want to turn your sound up and you want to listen. You should be able to hear this thing. But wait a minute. You hear it? Hoo hoo. I heard it. I hear it. Hoo hoo. I hear it. Hoo hoo. It's right by us. Oh my gosh, we're like nearly on top of it. Wait a minute, what's this? Look at this man. Go away, I'm working. What are you doing here? It's none of your business. Oh, I believe it is. You're the damn dowel, aren't you? No idea what you're talking about, mate. I'd leave if I were you. Do you even know what you're doing? Yeah, earning the easiest coins in my life. That's all that matters to me. Oh, really? Well, I've just been sent to kill this noisy owl. Are you trying to threaten me? Be very careful of your next words. Not at all. It's not me you should be afraid of, but my employer. Yeah, and who's that supposed to be? Sambor. Well, I don't know any say... Wait, did you say Sambor? That's right. Listen, man, I, I don't want any trouble. I was just hired to come in here from time to time and pretend to be an owl. I had no idea I was crossing your boss. I'll leave and never come back. Please, just leave me be. Um, relax. Just tell me who hired you and be on your way. It was Wolrad. He lives in a place called Tutkey. That's all I know, I swear. I believe you, and I hope you. I won't regret that, because if I do, you won't. It's the truth, and I'll never come back. All right, get out of here. So there was no owl. There was just that man. Hey, Sammy. And I took care of your owl. Is it dead? No, but he's gone and won't be back. He? I know that it will sound mental, but that wasn't really an owl. It was a man hired pretending to be one. What are you talking about? It's absurd. Believe me, I know. He was supposedly hired by a man called Wolrad. Dot, dot, dot. Do you know him? Ha ha, that son of a bitch. He really got me, so you do? Of course I know him. He was one of us, the Undying Fist. Was he really? The owl said he lives in a place called Tutkey. Yeah, it's not far from here. He lives there with his family, selling donkeys. I guess that fits, because he always was an ass. hey -oh. I'd love to meet him, and you will, because you will deliver a parcel to him for me. Um, let me guess, another knuckle sandwich? No, this time it's a real gift, and what's that? A special surprise, but I need, you need to come back later. I need some time to prepare it. Actually, come back tomorrow. I'll make it grander. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. So he wants us to come back tomorrow, and that's nice, but we're not going to be able to do that very easily. Look, here's the guy. Because... Tomorrow will be a new season. But you can always come back to Sambor. You don't have to worry about like exactly what time it is. I'm going to quick save it. And I'm going to kind of make a beeline to my house. So I'm going to uh, set a waypoint at my house. And I'm just going to run straight at it. I'm going to try to go as the crow flies. 
So Sam Bohr is um, preparing a package, which, if memory serves, is just poop in a bag. Um, Sam Bohr is giving a real special gift to one of his buddies, because as you can tell, um, his buddies are, like, super mature. Oh, look at this. And cutting through, what have we found? It is a chest with some coins, potion of instant healing, take it all. And even a wooden shovel, which I'm not going to take because that's a, a terrible tool. But I'll take money and a potion. All right. So there's some deer right here, which is cool. Deer, that's fine. Nastier animals, you don't want to see. But these animals, that's fine. So just kind of look around. See what you can find. If you die, you, you quick saved it and you're okay. That pig, get away from me, pig. Get all pigs, get away. I have no beef with you. Get it, beef, pig. I have a pork with you, but not a beef with you. And we're going over here. Oh my god, no, don't come after me. I'm not ready for this. I'm too beautiful to die. I'm running at full speed. Please don't be following me. All right. Oh, that looks like a, a buffalo or something. It's a Wysen. I mean, that's a big, hairy thing. I imagine you could get food for days off of something like that and warm fur to boot. All right, I'm going to cut back through here. What is this? I think we already found this, but I'm going to check. Yeah, we did find this. Or did we? Yeah, we didn't take this alcohol, though. That's a winner. All right. Man, there's so many seedlings. I don't think I can actually plant these, but I'm going to try. Found some barrels. This is great. People's carelessness and misfortune really, really helps me out. Um, and this is my, my settlement right here. It's great to be home. Let me see if I can plant a pear tree. Like, What would that take? Can be planted in the orchard's throughout the year to grow trees right but i don't think i can just like scare up a um an orchard well i guess i could let's see if i can by golly all right i'll place this and yeah make it make an orchard i placed it and then I think I'll need to uh, use a hoe to grub it up. We can grub it. Grub it. All right. So it needs a bag of seeds. But what if I have the... I can't just plant the... Um... the tree in there you know what i might need like the re the recipe for that or something like that or i might need to dig a uh a shovel you know with a sh with a shovel to make a hole or something that's absolutely not what you need to do um no All right, let me look at, um, no, not road. Don't make a road. Just go to buildings and go to, um, farming and then, you know, grow trees and hop plants. Hmm. Well, I mean, I made it. I do have a seed bag, I think. 
I feel like I got, I, I at least got a bag somewhere. I don't know if I got a seed bag, but. I have a wicker crate. That's what I've got. All right, well, we'll put these, see, these trees in here. There's not enough space. My God, man, there's not enough space. That's fine. Um, if I go to technology and I go to farming, flower, animal. No. Um, well, I could, I mean, in my workshop, if I built one, I could learn how to make a bowl and all this cool stuff. I do have onion. I need a wooden plate, though. Herbs can be planted. A capacity container. Uh, provides aesthetics. Well... Anyway, I've got some trees that could be planted, but we're one day away. We finished with Sambor. We need to go back so he can, quote, prepare his package, which is, you know, as bad sounding as you think it is. And we're actually doing amazing work. We could do whatever we want for the rest of the day, or we could just pass it. But I think it's in our best interest to just continue collecting stuff. And, um, you know, look, there's there's still some logs and things. They're just laying around. And we can put logs, you know, over here in this chest. And continue to get supplies so that we can build buildings right away. I'm going to put all these sticks in here. I'm going to put these logs in here. Beautiful. All right, everyone. Well, we're almost done. And it's almost summer. And I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.